Hello and welcome back to another episode of Kerbal Space Program with me, Matthias Weiss, and today I'm starting a new series. We went to Duna the last time, the last four episodes, I think, but now we are going back to a much closer target, the moon. Yeah, but I'm not building just rockets to, to land on the moon, that's, that's quite, quite boring. Uh, what I will do from now, I will start building up my own moon base. And there you can see the first module. And yeah, I'm using a sky crane to do that. And the upper part with these four long arms is the sky crane and the lower part with these little tower and these habitation modules is my first moon base module. And the plan is to set the uh, to, s to let it sit on the moon as a permanent base and after that the next thing I will do is build a, build a space station around the moon. And th but that will be part of later episodes. In this episode I will try to land this thing safely. We are already docked up and on a suborbital trajectory. So we are basically ready to begin. And yeah, what can I say about this ship? Uh, yeah, it is designed to be reusable, so I will uh, land this thing and then try to land with uh, the sky crane next to it, which hopefully goes well. So this thing will be used later uh, to fly back to the space station, which does not exist at this moment, but is in planning. And refuel there and take the next module down to the moon. So, yeah, I think we can time accelerate here. Until we are a little bit farther down to the surface. Okay, that should be fine. And use the landing autopilot. Try and bring us down in one piece. Although we have four engines here, these are just the uh, nuclear engines, so they are kind of weak for the heavy weight of the whole craft. But we should be okay. 20 kilometers to go. And until now everything's looking fine. I set the touchdown speed to two, minute, uh, two meters per second because otherwise it would be too unstable on the legs Virus. I just made some tests earlier this day to ensure that everything goes wrong. That goes right. Okay, that was the first burn. And yeah, as you can see, the RCS is firing as no tomorrow, but as if there was no tomorrow. But that's necessary, otherwise, this thing would keep on wobbling as hell. It wobbles a lot right now, but believe me, I had attempts where it was just insane that it didn't fall off. Ah, it's starting again. Okay, let's see how that works out. Still have uh, more than half of our monopropellant for the RCS and still more than enough of fuel. Uh, as you can see, uh, the lander legs are not long enough to uh, set it down on the these arms. For later missions, it will be because yeah, these this module has a tower on top and others won't have. But 
in this case it's a little bit tricky to land on only these four uh, lander legs with such a big big ship let's see oh we're coming down in a crater that can be interesting surface speed is 140 meters still Throttlers, yeah, 66%. So now it's getting interesting. Will it rip apart or will we have a successful landing here? down still really fast and there's the last suicide burn switch on the lights of course uh, let's see if we can drop it down safely whoa don't fall over. And there we are. Sitting nice and safe there. So now it's time to undock here. Try to land next to it. Whoop. <laughs> That's not really a perfect landing, but if it works, yeah, it works. Yeah, we're pretty close to the base, and let's go for a short EVA set up the base completely whoop so let's see if we can get that base operational Extend the ladder. Let's grab the ladder and let's see if that works. I have not tried it, if we can climb up there completely. That's a shame. Okay, now let's just fly up there. Okay, let's extend the solar panels. do whoa <laughs> boing <laughs> that was not so good extend the other ladder even though the ladder thing does not seem to work correctly a 
Come on. Let's grab and let's board it. So we can open up our communications arrays. And there's another one. And turn on our devices. Okay, there we go. We have a fully functional Muna station module ready for everything what's coming up next. And of course we have uh, our sky crane, which worked out pretty fine, even though the landing was not so good. Okay, this is it for today, and I hope you enjoyed this short episode. My name is Matthias Weiss, and see you next time. Fly safe. <laughs>